what's going on? Playoff Nation. Eagles clinching a playoff spot. We are rocking in business. Um, and we're going to go through Jalen Hurts, who was very impressive in this game. I mean, the, the running game was not nearly as dominant as it's been in prior games and what we used to seeing pretty much since week seven. So Jalen Hurts had to do a lot uh, himself in the passing game, and he did, and he delivered in this game. And we're going to go, we're going to go through it, and we're going to see good things. And the Eagles clinched a playoff spot, and it's all good. So let's get through it. Play action for the Eagles here. No, really only... Two options to throw it with Devontae Smith to the top, coming on a deep curl route. And Dallas Scott is going to be sneaking out here from the wing position. But he gets picked up a little bit here, so the only real option is, in fact, Devontae Smith. So he has to time this perfectly for when he's coming back. At the time, he's releasing the ball. It's the final release here. He's about to turn, so the ball will be there for him. Uh, he's getting pressured. And he's getting hit as he's throwing the football. and puts a good ball on Devontae Smith. And here we have uh, Sone Reed. So we're just going to be keying up on the defensive end right here, Casey Tuhill. He's going to be shooting for the running back, so he makes a good read here. He keeps the ball himself. And then it's a one-on-one -on -one situation with uh, with 51 here, the linebacker. And very nice move he makes, your Madden-type move. So here Washington coming out playing cover two. We actually have some pretty decent routes here to defeat that. We have levels to the top, so this is going to be clearing either the underneath or in between the linebackers and the uh, the secondary. And we're going to have um, somewhat of a sale concept down here with the two tight ends to the bottom with an angle route from Kenny Gamewell. Now the angle route is going to be interesting because if all these guys are going to be dropping too much um, too much in depth, then you're just going to check this down for him. And <clears> then <throat> also you're going to force the um, you're going to force the flat defender to make a decision on whether or not he wants to go for the uh, flat guy here, or if he wants to go for the uh, for the outbreak a little bit deeper. So there's this could have been better for for Hertz uh, absolutely because he's going to look for that sail combination to uh, to begin with here. You're going to see him looking down, so he's going to be looking at that flat defender right here. He's going to see all right, what's going on down here at the bottom, and he's going to see all right, this guy's going to be traveling with here. That's not a good option. He wanted to throw through the Dallas Goddard here, but he's being covered. So he started panicking a little bit here. And then he starts scrambling out the pocket. And that's really no pressure at this point right here. And when he's coming out, Kenny Gamewell is a good check down option here and let him work. <coughs> so I like what he what, what, that, no, he's able to get out here and get five yards. And that is that is a good some good yards to get there and early down, make the make the next downs easier. But you could also throw it here, here for Kenny Gamewell. Uh, coming across the middle, and he'll be able to pick up about four or five yards, maybe even make a guy miss. So here Washington is going to be sending a lot of pressure. And that is that is key because for Jalen Hurts, that means he, he the first thing he's going to read here is man coverage. He's going to see this guy line up ahead of their guy and then one safety who is first going to be dropping deep here. And he's going to look out here. He's going to see the slot, slot cornerback is going to be, re be relating to the slot receiver. And keep that in mind when you see the next frame showing here because he is going to be playing flat. And he's going to be carrying deep. And that is going to leave Devontae Smith wide open here down the middle. But this is a good play by Hertz. Why? Because the first read he makes when he comes out here is man coverage and uh, six guys in pressure with only five guys in, in, uh, in a protection. That means he is hot. That means to get rid of the ball. And the best option to do that, if they were playing man like he reads it here, is not the deep option. That is the curl route here. And he gets it out relevantly for, uh, for Quest Watkins uh, and lets him have a chance to work for the first down. So next drive here, and Washington is playing zone, but the interesting thing is to the top here, Devontae Smith, essentially playing man on him because he's a single, single receiver to that side. He's going to be running a curl route. Again, we're going to have a lot of uh, a lot of protection for Jalen Hurts in this play. And he waits until a good uh, good spot here to get the ball out to Devontae Smith. Could have maybe gone out like a second earlier, half a second earlier, um, but still good throw. Anticipates him well coming across the middle right here, and it, it's actually a pretty good design because if this guy, if the hook to curl defender here is going to be carrying, um, or excuse me, the flat defender, if he's gonna, not going to be carrying here, if he's just going to uh, drop into his uh, into his zone here and going to relate to Devontae Smith more, then you throw it to uh, to Dallas Goddard instead. Cover one man for Washington. We're going to have the in breaking from Devontae, uh, excuse me, from Dallas Goddard, and we're going to have Devontae Smith to the bottom. He's going to be carrying away the uh, the single high safety. Um, good round by by Dallas Goddard here beating his guy off the line <clears throat> and then getting some little, uh, a little bit of, uh, of leverage just is going outside. Good ball by Hertz. Hits him in stride for the first down. So in coverage again. And really, we're going to play action again because why not? And when we have those few few route options, look at Devontae Smith coming down here. He, it's some of the same stuff that he did before. He has a lot of room in between the, the linebacker and the uh, and the DB here. So you can gun this one in here just like you did on the previous, uh, on the previous reps. 
But for some reason, I, I think Hurts ex- expects the linebacker to drop more on this one and then delivers it out for Boston Scott instead for five yards. So I uh, can't complain about getting uh, hitting an open guy and getting five yards. But Devontae Smith is still an, uh, still an option right here. And I don't know if he just goes off his read too fast. Um, but, yeah, definitely a good route from Devontae. Now we get the cover three look here for uh, for, for Washington with two guys going deep here, and then you have a safety help over the top. So <clears throat> there, there's two things you can do on this play. Either you can stare off the safety to one side and then hit one of your uh, one of your, your seams uh, going deep here, or, uh, which is very relevant in the situation here for Hertz, is that if, if these guys, if these linebackers are going to be dropping with the seams, and they are, then you're going to hit the uh, the angle route coming in underneath it. Because see, all these guys here uh, are, are going to be going to be getting uh, quite the depth for um for the tight ends and then you hit the uh hit the runaway there underneath and let him work for a lot of yards uh let's check the pocket on this play because <clears throat> that makes it a lot more relevant if there's pressure in the pocket of course you want to you want to get the easy easy pass off yeah does actually have time to step into the throw if he wants to but still fine I think they noticed the exact thing on the on the previous play with the seams coming up. They were playing cover three. They did that a lot on this drive, and they wanted to hit that one more time. So we're just going to go another variant here, four guys, uh, 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 four verticals here, uh, playing against cover three, and we actually get to the open guy right here to that side. Na- naturally, the safety here is going to be scrambling over to the side or keen to the side because uh, Jalen Hurts is, uh, is scrambling. And it's a good job by Hurts because it's going to send the pressure here off of his, off of his uh, his, le- his left side. Um, maybe I think it's Casey Tuhill who's going to get the edge right here, and he's he he feels that, and it's relevant for him to get out the pocket there. And then while he's moving out the pocket, and we talked about this in the previous weeks, he is keeping his eyes downfield more than just tucking and running it for all cost. And he hits a, a good ball here for for Dallas Goddard to convert the uh, to the first down. Man coverage in the red zone for for Washington, and. Really good decision here by Hurts of targeting Devontae Smith as he's coming across right here. No options are that much better. Um, the other one would be Dallas Goddard also coming on an out route, but there you have the underneath defenders a little bit more. And I don't care what the the referees saw in this game. You're going back on it and watching it here. And we talked, I mean, I tweeted about this during the game. That's a holding. That is going to affect the, you know, the timing of where Devontae is on the throw. Working against zone coverage here, we're going to have Devontae Smith coming across, we're going to have a deeper route, and we're going to have a flat option. So it's going to create these uh, these three outs, uh, outgoing levels out here, sort of like, um, uh, like a flat concept here to the top. And what Hurts is reading is that the flat defender initially is going to get depth. <coughs> so this is going to be his first read. Is, uh, is the flat defender out here? If he's going to go with the wide receiver... You're gonna have an opening here for the tight end coming out, uh, coming out in the flat. But also, would what would I like to, what also I'd like to see is that when when it's when we're playing against zone here, you're also gonna have an option on the um, on the um, on the deeper in break and route here, especially if the three hole defender is gonna be biting up on the play action because it's gonna be late in his cover two of getting back. So we're running the cover two, when you're pulling off the uh, the, the play action here, and you know you have the deep the deep crosser coming in here one you one you take a look at the three uh, at the uh, the linebacker here how much is he baiting up if he's baiting up you're going to have an opening here in between the safeties and and the linebackers then you get your eyes out if he doesn't you're going to get your eyes out there and you're going to check out the flat defender that's an option to look at it because you're going to you're going to have that option here to, 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 to there's a lot of space in between linebackers and the and this and the second and the secondary so gun it in here for Devontae smith right over the middle as soon as he's coming across here that is an option but still, yeah, I mean, other than that, it's a fine read to go out there and get the five yards for uh, for Dallas Goddard. All right, so here we got man coverage um, for Washington, cover one man. And we're going to have a ton of in-breaking routes here for the Eagles. So that is initially very good. We're going to have Devontae Smith coming here. He's getting bumped a little bit, not getting the too much separation unless you're uh, leading him to the outside. Don't don't really have the time to do that. Jalen Rager coming to, or Jalen, or Quez Watkins, can never tell. Coming across the middle right here, he is open. He's getting separation. But at that time... Washington's five-man pressure is going to get um, it's going to get home a little bit here. Uh, Jalen Hurst does initially a good job of here staying in the pocket. So everybody's coming to the, to, from the right side. So he's stepping to the left. Good to see. Mylata is getting his guy outside. He's going to step up in the pocket, and then he gets a guy right in front of him, jukes him, and at that time, uh, Jalen Rager down the field is going to be covered. 
uh, well, up against here. Here's the Juke. Now he's trying to come back. You don't have that option anymore. And so he's getting a scramble for a ton of yards here. Get the first down and slide. It's a perfect play. Really like this play from Hurts as well. This is the very next play. So here we're going to have a man coverage for, for Washington. Once again, cover one man. And the options here are going to be deeper developing, uh, deeper options. So uh, slowly, slow developing play. And the safety here is going to be buying a little bit with the in-breaking route here from the top side. And that's going to leave Jalen Rager getting open here and getting separation to the top leading, um, leading downfield. But at that point... Uh, Jalen Hurts has been is getting pressured off the left side here. Jordan Malata giving up a pressure. An amazing move here for, from from Hurts getting out the pocket. And the best thing about this play is that he keep he relocates his hands to the ball and looking downfield for an open option, and then throws the ball away uh, wisely to avoid a bad play, but also keeping his eyes downfield to see if there is anybody getting over, getting open there. So really good job. RPO sprinkled in, well executed. This is the one with the flat, um, flat and over the middle option here. Reads it well, gets some easy seven yards. Almost pulls off magic again here, getting pressured immediately. So Washington is going is to be sending two extra guys in pressure, five guys in uh, uh, back to block. We're going to have some pressure off the edge. He's going to have to step up, and there's the three rusher. And he wants to throw this ball initially over the middle for Quest Watkins, but he's not looking back for him. So he he decides to tug it instead. Dangerous, dangerous option here. Gonna might have, might as well have been uh, a fumble. That that thing is taking a risk here. Props to him for holding on to the ball. You can see where he wants to go with it here, either for uh, Devontae Smith there across the middle, or uh, or deeper here for Quas Watkins. But the safety is over the top, so not a good option to throw that one uh, as well. Almost breaks free. Here to sign bubble screen, and that's. Just a drop by it by Quest Watkins. This is coming out here. Got to catch this ball. Got to turn and run. Um, looks like Washington playing cover one man here. We're going to have uh, three levels options to the top with uh, with a deep curl route, a deep route, and a flat option. So when you're looking at this right here, you can you can make a case for, for bombing it deep for Quest Watkins, who is in line with the cornerback and, and safety is deep. It's going to be one hell of a long throw here for him to keep separating downfield. It is an option, 100%. But it's also a good option you have right here in the flat, and it's third down, and you need to move the chains. Um, and, and the linebacker is kind of far away from Boston Scott right here. So I like the check down and just getting those easy 20 yards and moving the chains on this play. Devontae Smith, not a bad route either here, man coverage. He gets this guy turned a lot. And is open, so also there with timing, you can you can put that ball in there. So a lot of good options here for the for the um, for the offense. But I like the I like the job of, of Jalen Hurts here, keeping his eyes downfield, and then it, at the last second gets out there for for a second uh, for uh, for a second check and get, and get in the check down there or a second read that is mad throw from uh, from Hurts. I really like this one. This is this is big time development because again here you're gonna have a sail a sail concept to the bottom here with a flat option and a guy coming on a on a, on a corner route. And they're going to come out and, and, and play this uh, this is, this is the cover th cover four look. We well, have a flat option here underneath for Boston Scott, and you're going to have a deep guy for uh, for uh, Dallas Goddard. He's going to speed turn. He's going to get that separation in, be in between the safety and the flat defender and make a beautiful catch there on the sideline. And even he makes that play, but also in the pocket here, I'm going to have some pressure in his chest. I believe it's from Nate Herbig who's going to get pushed back a little bit here. So as he's releasing the ball, he's getting hit as well. Maybe a play of the year here for uh, for Jalen Hurts. We have cover four look for uh, for Washington. His initial look is going to be for um, off the middle of the field here. Then he's going to feel the pressure off the right side. Uh, it's going to be collapsing a little bit. Then he's going to be looking out here uh, for the flat option. He even takes a look out for Dallas Goddard, but he sees a guy on him. Um, so, so he's going to choose not to get that one. He wants him to go deep instead. It, as nothing here is developing, he's not, he, you know, the inner clock goes off. And he goes out to the bottom of the screen. Good decision. And what I just like about the play is that we've been talking so much throughout the season about, you know, just just focusing solely on running and that, that clock going off and they're just running no matter what. And here he is trying to direct guys downfield, he's trying to direct traffic, uh, and, and, and keeps his eyes downfield and finds a wide open Greg Ward who is getting open after being uh, well covered. So really good throw, good scramble, and yeah. 
All right, so in this play, we're going to have uh, Chris Watkins um, on a linebacker against zone coverage. Here. It's going to come out here to the flat. And it, there's going to be safety help over the top. So for Hurts, it, it's key not to overthrow this ball and give it too much air under it because the, then the safety is going to get out there. Uh, also, well played by, I believe it's is it Cole Holcomb or... Anyway, the Washington linebacker coming out here. 55, yeah, Cole Holcomb. Good linebacker, in my opinion. Um, so the, the read is, is absolutely correct. And it's 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 a fine job not giving it too much air under it. Maybe could have given it a little bit more and have Quest work a little bit uh, a, a little bit more downfield uh, before having to, to turn around for it. But Quest has all, also made a couple of these plays here during the season. So it gives this guy a chance. But it is not as open as it seemed when you looked at it from the broadcast view because you're going to have that safety uh, coming over the top. The alternative is that you wait, let him let Quez run for about a second, so he also has um, has developed some more speed and separation to keep separating from the safety as well. That is also an option. Really like the decision to throw this ball here. We got cover one man for Washington, Devontae Smith coming on a deeper crossing route here. Uh, so single single coverage against this dude, uh, and, and good route from from Devontae. So he's going to see a little bit upfield before he's cutting back uh, over the middle, but very well played by 37, and he undercuts it, so he's in a very good angle, um, and. This is just a beautifully, uh, beautifully defended pass because the throw itself is on the money. It is right there for Hurst to go up and grab it in stride, but it's just a good play by the defender as well. Good play. Good timing throw here for uh, Devontae Smith in the bottom on a curl route. And it seemed in this game that... Hurts is finding out a little bit more. Just keep throwing these curls here. Cover four once again. Essentially, it's played like a man from the cornerback out here. But Devontae, beautiful separation. This is another terrific play displaying uh, pocket presence here from Jalen Hurts. And we've seen this a couple times now. This is this is progress. Because right here, you're going you're gonna to have uh, the pressure getting home here with the D-line on Leighton Dickerson. And right here, the, the options you have here is the crosser. And the outbreaking route against man coverage here. Those are two good options to throw to. And the ball he puts on Dallas Goddard is, is wide, but it's also very catchable for him. And he extends out to, to make the play. So we're here from the box here. Gonna see the pressure there from our right side. And the response to it is just it is phenomenal because what we saw earlier in the season is him working to a side and then just scrambling around and wanting to dance around. But here he sees the guy downfield. He makes the play and a very good throw, despite being under that much duress. Yeah, so two options on this uh, on this play right here. Once again, this man coverage for Washington, cover one man. We're gonna have Devontae Smith coming on a deeper out route here. This is gonna be working wide open against the cornerback here. Very good route from him. Throw that to the outside a little bit underneath so he can work away from the safety. But also the Dallas Goddard coming across the middle here against the linebacker or slot cornerback or whatever it is. Is also a fine option here, but it's a second time of this game. Where isn't obviously he's holding him as he's trying to get out there. So, referees in this game, man. Second and a hell of a long way to go here. Washington coming out playing cover one man, and two things on this play. One is the pick to the bottom. So Devontae Smith going to come out here. He's going to play well. He's going to try to seek away from the contact. He's getting contact there by the uh, linebacker, and then you have Kenny Gamewell wide open there down the field. We're also going to get pressure in the pocket on Hertz immediately at this play is, um, uh, as this play is progressing within, within a few seconds. And then the two options you're going to have here across the middle against man here. D Dallas Goddard is going to be sitting. Devontae, uh, excuse me, Quest Watkins is going to run a hell of a route here against the cornerback. Puts a good ball on him, jumps up, gets it, and, and gets about 10 yards here on a play where you need to get in range for a field goal. So that is what that is what Jalen Hurst is thinking. That's probably what he's been told on this play. We need to get five, ten yards in order to set up for uh, for a field goal and uh, and extend the lead here um, late in the game. But there is the option down there at the bottom. And, I mean, you can be pessimistic and say, oh, why didn't he see that man coverage? And then you want to look at the pick play. But I really, really think the situation dictates that you want to get those more secure yards to get the field goal in that situation more than banking on because if that doesn't work if the pick doesn't work down here then you're screwed when they're sending extra guys in pressure the cover one man for the uh, washington football team here on the uh, final passing play for jim Hurts in this game and uh they're gonna have cover one man behind it with the safety help over the top here to the two top receiver side 
and he wants to unload this one to uh, to the top receiver I believe he's uh, Devontae, uh, Devontae Smith but he's getting pressured there both off the right side and up the middle on that play um, and so very relevantly he, he looks out here for, for Jalen Rager who's getting depth without anyone over the top so he's trying to put some uh, air on that and <coughs> He gets he gets held a little bit, but I mean I I like the no call, but it was just absurd in game with the pass interference they called the Latte Maddox on on the drive before. Um, but relevant uh, decision here for Jalen Hurts. You, you can't step into the throw at this point here uh, with um, with Devontae Smith getting the depth there. So it gets gets this guy a chance. Um, yeah. So now over the course of two, three, four weeks, now we've more and more consistently seen. Um, pr um, progress of Hertz in terms of keeping his eyes downfield and when he's moving around the pocket he's doing it more relevantly he's taking steps to one side steps to another side and when everything's collapsing he's moving out the pocket but keeping his eyes downfield replacing the hands on the ball so he's uh, he's in a good position to to reset his feet and drive into uh, drive into a throw and he's making these throw these throws and we're seeing him more and more now stay in the pocket and deliver accurate passes relevant to the coverage that the defense are playing these are these are impressive stuff so some of the arm strength thing or some of the arm accuracy things are they're looking better because he's making better decisions and he is reading the defense reading the defense better he's staying at the pocket better um so all these things have just been improving for him as a passer while also breaking angles in the rushing in the running uh uh, running game when he decides to scramble himself and really relevant uh, keep on uh, on a zone read and, and and breaks angles there so very very encouraging what I saw from Jalen Hurst in this game and ultimately just wonderful week to be an Eagles fan so see you next time.